I'm meteorologist Todd Claussen. Thanks for joining us on HTSN. The overall weather pattern in the next few days is going to be very similar to what we've been going through with these isolated thunderstorms, the heat and humidity. And this morning we had some pretty good storms that rolled through the northern portion of central Indiana. Here are some estimated rainfall totals. Well over two inches of rain anywhere from eastern portion to Howard County through Muncie down towards the Newcastle area, over towards Winchester. Not nearly as much rain here in the metro area. And that's just the overall weather pattern that we will continue to deal with. We have We'll have these spotty thunderstorms that could produce locally heavy rainfall. And just a few miles away, you remain completely dry. And the reason is we have a warm front that's really just going to meander all across the state of Indiana to the north and to the south. And with that front in the vicinity, we'll continue to have those locally heavy storms, some of which could produce maybe a thunderstorm warning. And then this warm and humid weather pattern will continue. We are going to talk about temperatures near 90 degrees for the remainder of this week and in to the weekend with heat index values that could be as warm as nearly 100 degrees. So we're firmly entrenched in this warm and muggy air mass. As far as the storms, there could be an isolated one here this evening heading towards the midnight hour with again some locally heavy rain. And you notice these storms, they're all really kind of moving from northwest to the southeast, again right along that warm front that'll be in place across the state of Indiana. And we'll continue the storm threat into the overnight hours as well. But again, not everybody is going to see them. These storms will be very, very icy. Isolated and then more of the same on Friday. From time to time, some isolated storms will make their way through the state, providing that locally heavy rainfall and a lot of lightning. Uh, but we're not expecting any widespread severe weather. Again, there could be an isolated thunderstorm warning here or there, and that'll be just about it. And even into Saturday, we'll have that storm threat. So as far as potential rainfall, I'm just showing this as an overall general view. And you do notice while there will be areas that only see maybe a quarter inch of rain, some areas will pick up one to two inches of rain over the course of the next 24 hours. As far as the heat, fast forward to tomorrow, near 100 degrees from St. Louis to Kansas City. We are knocking on the door of the 90 degree temperatures as well. It is all going to depend on the cloud cover that will be in place in the coming days and these storms as they move through. So we'll keep highs right around 90 all the way through Monday. We'll take the storms out of the forecast on Sunday and then we'll bring them back into the forecast by the middle half of next week.